Instructional television program is a life-changing opportunity for the students in Polk County and certainly changed the life of this year's guest speaker, who knew what he wanted to do for a living after seeing just one Shark Zone broadcast as a sixth grader at Lake Gibson Middle School. In 2006, he was honored as the ITV County Student of the Year. In 2010, he graduated from Southeastern University with a dual degree in Broadcasting and Film Studies, and in 2018 earned his MFA in Digital Cinema Production. This year's guest speaker has experienced ITV from every angle, first as a student, then as an ITV employee and workshop instructor, and most recently as the founder and advisor of Kathleen High School's Ignition TV from 2010 to 2019. He currently serves as the broadcast producer for the city of Lakeland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Andrew Gash. Well, good evening. Now, as a teacher, as a teacher for nine years, I can't say good evening without asking for it to be a bit better. Good evening. Some of you are probably wondering right now what this is. This is an iPad and it's a magnetic teleprompter. And by showing you that, about all the teachers in the room are gonna call ITV after the awards and ask them where you can get one. Because that's what ITV teachers do, TV teachers do. You know, we covet technology. And when we see one, we're, oh, I gotta have that. So, you know, it's a good time to confess it. Well, thank you to Caitlin, thank you, Hannah. They are amazing, aren't they? They're like... They're like this tall and they have more talent than all of us. It's not quite fair. But anyway, you know, seriously, it, it is wonderful to be here tonight and back together again, back together in this place. Now kids, I can tell you what every adult in the room has thought at some point this evening, and that's this, where was this when I was in school? Right, Am I, how many of you have thought that? Because. This is incredible for elementary. I didn't get this when I was in elementary school. I mean, I was in this program, but not this young. As they told you in the introduction, I was a sixth grader when I saw the shark zone on that little TV. I had moved with my family from California to Florida, an hour outside of Hollywood, California, is where I came from, to Polk County, Florida. Now, you'd think that California would have the best, right? And I didn't expect anything like this in Polk County, Florida. So there I am sitting in this little classroom as an intimidated little sixth grader, and I look up on, the, uh, on this TV in the room. Usually it just showed the clock that was bouncing and we'd wait for it to hit the corner. But one day I looked up and there it was, the Shark Zone, a student-produced news show. And I was amazed. I was amazed, and it's right here in Polk County. And the graphics on this thing, they were amazing. I was a techie, so I wanted to make graphics. Now later I learned that the graphics actually were coming from a little VHS tape that had graphics on it. But that's okay, it still inspired me to make graphics. I'm sorry, I just realized, okay, a VHS tape is, <laughs> Well, I'll tell you about it later. Anyway, the point is, I was an ITV student for six years, two years in middle school, seventh and eighth grade, and then I worked for ITV for four years, you heard that, and then I got to be a teacher at ITV for, for nine years. Wonderful times. So as you heard in the introduction, I like to say that I've heard ITV or seen ITV from pretty much every angle. But there's actually three different vantage points here tonight from which I have not seen ITV. I've never seen ITV as an elementary student. <laughs> I've never seen ITV from the perspective of a parent with a kid in ITV, at least not yet. And I've not seen ITV from the perspective of a school administrator or county leadership. And I'd like to take just a moment to talk to those uh, three different vantage points tonight. First, to the administrators in the room, the school board members, uh, county leadership, when's the last time that you saw so many young, creative, talented individuals gathered together in one room. Probably at the 2019 Video Awards. It's true. 
Your being here tonight is so incredibly special and so meaningful because it means that you're supporting this program. So thank you. ITV is one of the most special, unique, life-changing programs ever to be created. And what you have here is something that can't be quantified or qualified with an exam or a rubric or a certification. It is much, much more than that. The experience that this program has, it prepares students for their future. And I'm not talking about just a future in media. I'm talking about communicating ideas, designing products, working in a team, presenting information, making deadlines sometimes. <laughs> These are skills for life. So I want to encourage you to do everything in your power to strengthen this program, to support the incredible team who manage ITV and to keep this opportunity alive for generations to come. Now, kids, I'd like to ask you to do me a favor and give a big round of applause to the parents and family who are here tonight. Because you know what? ITV is why I got up and went to school in the morning. It's why a lot of my students got up and went to school in the morning. They, ooh, ITV, fifth period and sixth period, and seventh period. Some of them filled the senior year with ITV. <laughs> to the parents in the room, my parents, just like you, knew and recognized the importance of this program. They saw the skills that it was teaching me, the doors that it could unlock. And just like you, they were always more nervous for me on the night of the video awards than I was for myself. They would sit there and, you know, they came every year when I was a student. They came every year when I was a teacher. They would sit there behind all the students that I'd gathered with Kathleen High School. I'm an adult now, right? My parents are still there. And they'd look at me and they'd say, we want to be here tonight and we don't want to be here tonight because we're so nervous for you and we'd rather just have you tell us about it later. But it meant so much to have them with me, to support me as a student, and then to support me even as an adult. They're sitting right there. They're still here. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> but I'm serious, and, and that's the And actually, this is probably the first the word ceremony where you can just sit back and relax, right? So that's nice. The point is that your being here tonight to support the kids, to support your children, to support their teacher, to support their team is also incredibly special. So thank you. Finally, kids, students, writers, directors, reporters, anchors, graphic operators, I don't even know that I can name them all. I can't wait to see what you've created tonight. Tonight's celebration can't possibly showcase all of your work, but you know, I'd like to congratulate you on just making it this far. For those of you, how many of you, this is your first time at, at one of these ceremonies? Yeah, there's a lot of people, so you may not even know how this works. Let me explain. Being nominated, no, I'll explain it. Let me do it. Being nominated, being nominated means that, and this is like the, the nominees are, and they, they read the names, right? That means that those entries achieved 80% or more of the guidelines that are prescribed for that category. 80%. And then after the winner is announced, you're going to see another list of, of entries on the screen. Those are the outstanding nominees. Those are all the entries that achieved 70% or more of the industry guidelines. What does that mean? You see, this is not... These entries aren't on the screen because a judge thought, oh, well, that's cute. Oh, isn't that nice? No, these are on the screen because these students have created quality products judged against industry standards, and they're no more than fifth graders. It's not fair. I've taught college students who are not as prepared as you are at this age to go into the industry and you're already the one that your parents go to when they don't know how to use their smartphone. So just imagine where you're gonna be if you keep this up. As you heard in the introduction, I'm currently the broadcast producer for the city of Lakeland. That's an opportunity that I first heard of because I volunteered to work along with the person who had that job when I was in high school. 
And then many years later when he retired, he called me up and said, hey, are you interested? I have the job I have now for the city of Lakeland because I was in ITV, because I was ready and learning these skills and could move into this industry. So you got a lot more years to go. You have a lot more to learn, but you're already so talented. Every day, however, is a new opportunity to be successful. I'm gonna say that part again, because it's really important, and if you remember anything else tonight, besides you know, all the winners and all that stuff, remember this, every day is a new opportunity to be successful. Say that with me, ready? Every day is a new opportunity to be successful. So no matter how tonight goes, get up tomorrow, keep at it. Tonight is just a stepping stone to what's next. Now there's a lot more I could say, and trust me, ITV gave me a time limit that I've gone over. So in closing, I can't leave without acknowledging the teachers in the room and just say this. I'm here tonight because I had a great teacher. Wendy Setterberg at Lake Gibson Middle School was the one who accepted that little scared sixth grader who was so enamored by the graphics on the TV in the corner of the room. And she changed my life. So teachers, what you're doing is changing lives. And the effect that you have is far greater than you'll ever know. It's an honor to be with you tonight. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gash, for your dedication to video production and the students of Polk County Public Schools.